Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com on how to get started with your new .NET Nook website. So as you can see here, we have a standard installation of .NET Nook. Uh, by the address you can see that it's installed in my local computer, local host. The first thing that we're gonna uh, be doing here is we're gonna get rid of the default content that uh, every uh, .NET Hook installation installs by default. So this entire content, we're gonna get rid of it. To do that, we have to log into the back end of the website so we can manage this content. Uh, if we click on login, let's log in as the host uh, account because for some of the things that we have to do today in this video, we will need host level access. I'm assuming that you do have that access. So here we are in the backend administration of .NET Nook. The area in the top is uh, the control panel. So I'm just going to collapse it to gain a little bit more space. And here's the template content that you're going to get rid of just to make space for new content. So basically you can move the mouse over the triangle uh, and then the action menu will come up and you can delete. It will delete the content that is related to that area, to that module. There is still a little bit more content. I'll go over the triangle again, click delete to remove this piece of content and there is the last one here. Move the mouse over again, click delete, and that's basically it. So now we have the home page, a blank home page with .NET Hook logo at the top. Now we have to make this page look like we want. Uh, so here is how our local site will look like at the end of our video. So this is a, uh, a site that I have uh, created previously before I have started the video and this is how you, we will make our new site look like and I'm going to go through the process of, of what you have to do step by step to get this site to look like this one. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to get a nice look and feel for our new website. Now, there is a concept that you have to learn about .NET Nook. When we're talking about .NET Nook, there's something called the skins. The skin is the look and feel of the website. It's how it's the colors, the fonts, and uh, there are vendors, a lot of different vendors in the .NET Nook marketplace that provide predefined and pre-created pre, uh, uh, skins for, for us to use them and to purchase. So you can go to a site called snowcover.com, which I have open right here. And this is basically a, a marketplace for anything related to .NET Nook. Uh, in one of my videos in the future, I will go into more details about this website. But for now, I just want to show you uh, an area that says skins. Here's where you're gonna find lots of different look and feel that you can choose from, that you can purchase. Uh, usually the, those skins, they will vary from anywhere from $40 to $100 to maybe $150, depends on how complex, how easy, how nice they are. So before I have started this video, I have already purchased uh, a skin from this website. When you purchase a skin, uh, you will receive uh, a zip file that will contain the skin files. So I have saved that already in my computer and I'm just gonna use it uh, what I have downloaded already. So let's go back to the website, to our brand new website. So now to upload the skin that I have purchased on Snow Covered, I'll go to the host menu and I'll go to extensions.
Under extensions, I can scroll all the way down and click install extension wizard. The page that comes up, I'll click on browse and, I, and now I will find the zip file that I have received when I purchased my skin from snowcover.com. So I can select the skin which is right here. This is the name of the skin. Open it. Click next. Don't worry about this warning. This package may be a little bit old so it doesn't have some of the required fields and, and DNN is complaining a little bit but just ignore and keep it selected as skin. Click next. It's just confirming what it is inside of the zip file. Just click next again. Next again. Accept the license. Click next. So uh, this page is just basically listing all the different files that were found inside the skin, inside the zip file. I'm just scrolling to see if there is any warnings. Usually if there is an error, it's, uh, it's highlighted in red. There's nothing here. So we can just click on return. So now if we scroll under to the skin section, here's my new skin. This is the standard default dot and twig skin. And this is the new one that I have just uploaded. So now we're gonna go and set up this skin as the default skin for the website. And the place that we're gonna do that is under admin and under skins. So here in the skin uh, settings page, we can select the new skin that we have purchased. Now you can see a bunch of thumbnails of how the skin will look like when applied to the website. So each thumbnail is a different variation of the skin that I have purchased. In this case I have many many different options. I will select the horizontal image one. Just click apply. So you're going to notice that the site will change a little bit. Okay. So now you can see that there's a header. The basically the look and feel of the website has changed quite quite a lot right now after we have applied the the new skin. So let's go back to the home page. This is the end of part 1 of this video. Please go to part 2 of how to get started with your new .NET Duke website. Thank you.